Even though California has been suffering through a drought for the past two years, you wouldn't guess it from looking at a day like this. Last week, Northern California prepared for a heavy rainstorm that not only included a large amount of precipitation, but high winds as well. The storms of this intensity, uh, specifically the one that hit us, usually form well off in the Pacific Ocean around low pressure centers. And the deeper the low or lower the pressure, the more intense it can get. This helps pull in lots of moisture and heat from off the ocean, and eventually it gets to a point where it can hold that in and it releases it. Beale Air Force Base alone received 3.48 inches of rain and experienced wind gusts of up to 55 miles per hour that caused trees on base to uproot. The storm didn't deliver too much damage, but no one was taking chances after the last large rainfall Beale received in December of 2012 that caused major flooding around the base. Uh, with the winds, we tie down aircraft. We try to put as many aircraft into the hangars as we possibly could. For the floods, what I know of that CE did was they went around to all the ditches and bridges and made sure that there was no debris in the drainage pipes. They cleared out that debris so the water could flow freely. Sandbag fill stations were also created so people could fill up their own sandbags. The rain hasn't showed any signs of stopping, but California still has a while to go before it's officially out of its drought. This storm helped out a little bit to alleviate the drought, but we are still very much in a drought. For the most part, we would need about 20 more inches of rain over the next few months to get out of the drought. Reporting from Beale Air Force Base, California, I'm Airman First Class, Benjamin Buganig.